With the rising number of film and media studies enrollments in the UK, you might also be thinking if you should go to film school for film production. I myself went to the London Film Academy in the years of 2019 to 2021. In the last few years, I've worked on sets in the camera and lighting department as well as a cinematographer and want to give you a comprehensive overview of the career outlook, the university experience, the financial viability of the degree, what to expect after degree, as well as alternatives to film school, specifically if you want to work in film and media production. I will be focusing this video on the UK and London specifically, because I've seen quite a few videos about film school in the US, but not really in Europe or the UK. So let's jump right into it and talk about the pros of going to film school. Generally, film degrees are not as standardized as traditional degrees, so I would strongly advise to really look into whatever university you're applying to and see what they are doing during that degree. I did a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Filmmaking, and that included getting a broad understanding of every single role on set and in the film production, which really opened my eyes about film as a career, which I never really thought about. I did get a broad understanding of the workflows on set, the set etiquette, as well as finishing projects from the very conception of writing it to post-production and release. And during our studies we had access to a variety of high-end equipment that I would have not been able to play around with, such as ARRI cameras and shooting on Super 16mm film. Sure, it would have been possible to rent out that type of equipment by myself, but I would have spent quite a lot of money for a few days of rental and nobody would have introduced me to the equipment. Especially Super 16mm film is quite a jump from shooting just normal digital cameras, DSLRs. So getting introduced to those and the workflows with those was really, really valuable. I also chose the degree at my specific uni because it was very practical and not as theoretic. And it was only two years, so I didn't waste much time at university theorizing. During those two years, I was able to build some genuine friendships and connections with people who are interested in film or want film as a career path, which is not as common to find elsewhere. And since you're students with a lot of free time and passion for film, you can really utilize that, which our uni also advised us to do, and shoot projects outside of school for practice, for creative expression and to experiment. After uni that will be much harder to ask a lot of favors and not a lot of people will be as willing as during the uni time to help you out as it's a give and take and everybody will work on each other's projects. Even more so if you have projects that are a bit of a shit show or go bad, fail, which inevitably will happen as you learn and grow. Your reputation won't be as ruined as if you're asking favors from industry people and then they will never want to work with you ever again. Whereas in film school you're all students, you're all trying out things and generally acceptance of mistakes is higher. Another positive, at least for me, was that it was a very very practical degree. It wasn't something where you theorize and write endless papers about. But the film industry, especially film production, is very practical, sometimes even very physical as a job. And we were exactly doing that. We were shooting short films throughout the whole course. We were doing the work that we were going to do anyways, once we were on set and working as a professional. So it was very hands-on and very much related to what you're about to do. If you're choosing London as your location, it's the biggest hub in the UK and I would say the second biggest hub in the world for international film productions, only topped by the US, but that's a whole nother ball game. So being in the city and establishing a life in the city might grant you some opportunities that you would have otherwise not had. If you're planning to be an international student like I was and a lot of people at my school were, then the studies will grant you a visa for a limited time, which then allows you to get more opportunities as you're here in the UK. And lastly, every film school should have an alumni roster of people who went to the school and now are established in the industry and you might be able to capitalize on that network even after you finished your studies uh, or during your studies. However, that's very subjective to the school. There's schools that are way more prestigious like NFTS and London Film School and they are very famous for having established industry professionals as their alumni. With all of that being said, I want to go into the cons or the negatives that I find 
from my film school experience. The biggest of which was that we didn't really learn about the business side of things. If you want to work in the film industry, it is an extremely competitive industry because all of the jobs are very much in demand and there is only a limited supply of actual jobs. We never really had a class on where to look for those jobs and we never really had a class on how to build relationships with industry professionals or how to conduct yourself so you can actually get jobs. We never had a class on how to write a proper CV for film. The fact alone that about 50% of the film industry in the UK that works on film productions is freelance based and we never had a class on how to become a freelancer or what documents to fill to be a freelancer, how to write an invoice, all of these things that are extremely essential that you're learning as you're doing the work, have not, we've not been taught in film school. One of the biggest points against film school in general is also that no one has ever required me to have a degree for doing a job on set. It's always been either a personal connection that I had to somebody, my experience or my portfolio that got me onto a job. And on top of that, student films have a bit of a stigma if you put them on your CV and they don't really count as work experience as much because student films usually are quite messy in their production process and nobody's gonna hire you based on how many student films you shot. Furthermore, this might not be extremely valid as a point, but it was all about film and not about commercials, corporate jobs, anything outside of that where there's still a film crew, but it's not a movie that you're shooting. So in that case, it might have been better to just go for a media degree instead of a filmmaking degree. However, music video productions, high-end music video productions, as well as commercials, have film crews that operate pretty much the exact same way as a film crew on a long-form shoot. So it will still be up to you very much to build your own network and to get a foot inside of the industry. Which also goes back to the connections that you can get from film school. You only really get good connections from people that like you and you like them. So it felt a little bit like high school at times and I've definitely fallen out with some people, uh, which was also my mistake. But the connections you're gonna get is really how you handle yourself. And nobody's really talking about that in film school. Considering that, I've learned a lot more from experience watching other people on set and actually from YouTube as to how to get a job in the film industry, how to market myself and how to build lasting relationships with people in the industry. Following up on my point that a student visa will give you opportunities to break into the industry, you have to keep in mind that a lot of the times you will need to require a sponsorship to be able to work in the film and TV industry in the UK nowadays after Brexit. I was lucky with it because I came here before Brexit, but I've had multiple students that had to leave back to their home country because they weren't able to acquire sponsorship as that sponsorship require a high degree of qualification on your end, a shortage of that job here, and also the company will have to pay more to employ you, which generally companies don't really want to do. The film industry is changing rapidly with the advancement of virtual productions, AI, and most recently with massive, massive strikes about working conditions within the industry. All of these topics weren't as popular in 2021, 2022, and 2019. However, they were on the advance and film school did not prepare me for any of them. And that inevitably brings me to the financial viability of the degree. A lot of film schools are private schools, so their fees are higher. And especially if you're an international student, you will pay a premium. I was able to pay with the help of my parents but also I was already working as a freelancer before and during my studies. However, as many other people, I had to take on student debt here in the UK. Though that debt is not as severe as in the US, it will still stay with you until you pay it off or after 30 years it will expire. You will get charged annual interest on it, currently at 7.6%, which is higher than any mortgage and higher than inflation. And you will have to pay it off if you make more than 12,000 pounds per year. It will deduct 9% of your income. 
that's taxable for the student debt repayment. You gotta keep that in mind that for the first few years you will most likely not make much money and the average salary in the film industry, even though it offers a lot of opportunities, is between 30 to 40,000 pounds per year. You then also have to consider that that's only the cost for the degree and you will still need to live in London and London has very high rent payments, living expenses and all of that cost will accumulate and you should probably be working as well as studying at the same time. So I wouldn't recommend it as a degree where you're just trying things out. I couldn't really find the statistics online of how many people actually get a job within the film industry after having studied for it. In my experience, it was about 50% of people who stay in this sort of industry and it's not a guarantee to success. So what do I recommend, what conclusion do I draw and what would I do instead? I'd say it's very much worth it if you're going to a prestigious school such as NFTS or London Film School and you're also able to get a scholarship or your cost is reduced. However, for most other people, I would much rather recommend doing a short course of some kind, which is maybe a month up to six months long, in which you will get an understanding of film productions. You shoot short films, you shoot maybe even a commercial, and you will also learn about the business side of things rather than just film production only. With each job that you're on set, you are learning more and your skill set expands naturally anyways. And I think a lot of the lessons that we've learned can be condensed into a month or six month course. Furthermore, if you're interested in being on set and working as, for example, lighting or camera technician, there's a lot of companies that offer internships or training that will get you on set relatively fast and also in contact with industry professionals which then allows you to build your career much faster and on the most up-to-date standards. The same goes for mentorship programs, which I think are the most valuable because you will have pretty much a one-to-one -one session with mentors in the industry that will answer any of your questions while also earning some money and being on big sets. However, it's very hard to get into such a program. If you're aspiring to be a cinematographer or director, I very strongly recommend you also shoot your own stuff as much as possible. You can most likely even take the money that you would have spent on the studies, invest into some gear, and then just shoot as many projects and as frequently as you can with the highest production value that, can, that you can achieve at that time. Start on the lower end and work your way up and don't try to immediately make your magnum opus on the first shoot. Always keep in mind it's about who you know and not what you know necessarily. So I would spend much more energy and resources as to how to meet people in the industry and how to get in contact, how to build lasting relationships with them. There's a lot of networking events around London, but also film clubs and clubs like Film Jam, which is a group of random strangers meeting and shooting a film within a month, which you can participate to get experience in, to get to know some other people that are interested in film as a career path and that can be your way in. If you do decide to go to film school, what you make of the experience will be up to you. Of course, you can expect the school to support you in some ways, but ultimately it's still going to be up to you to build strong relationships with the other students or the teachers. It will be up to you how many short films you shoot. You can just shoot the ones that the school dictates to you, but I strongly encourage you to then also use the other students and help them out as well on your personal projects and just experiment as much as you can. Talent and ambition will always prevail and be paid in the industry. However, it is a marathon and it will take years, if not decades, to establish yourself. My experience is very freelance based. Of course, there's also employment opportunities but if you're not comfortable with being freelance, then the film industry, especially in a film production perspective, might not be something for you. You will constantly have to apply yourself, especially in the higher positions like cinematographer or director. It will sometimes feel like you're always applying for new jobs. It's an industry that requires you to be very proactive, even in the smaller roles. And 
Again, the most important thing is building strong relationships and you will still need to do that once you're out of film school and you will probably do that until you retire. I hope this video clears up some of your questions and makes it possible for you to make a decision. I did go to film school and I am a bit split about the entire thing. It wasn't probably the best financial decision, however, it really enabled my mind to see film as a possibility, as a career. And also I met some great people during my film school times and built some strong alliances in that time. If you liked the video, I appreciate a thumbs up and a follow. In my next video, I will potentially discuss what are the things that I learned outside of film school, the things that film school doesn't teach you. So subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with that. Mm -hmm.